Hello, so here with a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to have an overview on data reduction in EMC PowerMax. First, let's have a view on data reduction theory. Uh, data reduction is utilized for storage utilization improvement and a data duplication ratio over a particular time of period is the number of bytes input to a data duplication process divided by the number of bytes of output. So here's the figure number one. Here we have the bytes in, we have then the algorithm that's helping us for capacity optimization, and then we have the bytes out. So the ratio, we are going to see this ratio in the next, in the exercises. The ratio is the bytes in divided uh, with the bytes out. So let's say, for example, uh, the rate may also be viewed as the data capacity of a system be divided by its usable storage capacity. For example, if 100 gigabytes of data consumes just 10 gigabytes of storage capacity, then the space reduction ratio is 10 to 1. So this is a proportion. And uh, how, uh, how is this working on this power max? So we have a couple of techniques, a uh, couple of main techniques. Uh, the very first one is the duplication. Uh, the duplication is a technique for eliminate, eliminating duplicate copies of repeating data. Uh, the duplication process identifies unique chunks of data or bytes or patterns that are stored during a process of analysis. As the analysis continues, chunks are compared to the stored copy. When a match occurs, the redundant chunk is replaced with a small reference that points to the stored chunk. This is how we are saving space with the duplication analysis. And the second technique we have is compression. Compression is just a function designed to allow the system to manage uh, space savings because uh, this is, let's say, low level. This is happening on the bytes. So as long as, uh, as our system detects bytes that can, that can have any uh, space save, it's going to this is going to compress uh, the, the data. So all systems are configured with an expected data, data reduction savings of four to one. Okay, so how is this being accomplished by the AMC PowerMax? <clears throat> we have the data reduction engine, uh, which is composed of these three components. Uh, the first component is hardware acceleration, I'm sorry. Uh, the system utilizes a data reduction of float card embedded into the nodes of a node pair to handle the actual function of reducing data. So this is totally on the hardware. Also, we have the ABC, activity-based compression. It allows the system to offer space savings and deliver the performance expected. This is done using AI, ML, um, artificial intelligence or machine learning to determine the business allocation with the storage resource pool, the famous SRP, and leave them on reduce. And for the last section, uh, the third component of the engine, data reduction engine, we have the fine grained data packing. So the incoming data uh, to be reduced is segmented into four 32K sections of 128K cache slot sites. So the reduction occurs uh, for each 32 K section simultaneous and in parallel while also generating a, uh, a unique hash identifier hash ID. So let's go to the, the, uh, to the PowerMax. So here we are in our lab environment. Let's click on the demo system. Uh, the credentials for this unit is free. It's going to be SMC. Okay, so here we are in the new uh, Unis free interface. I am going to reset the zoom. And here we can see five system. We have three BMAX and a couple of Power Max. Let's take a look into the Power Max 0107. Let's select the system. And in this particular lesson, we are going to have an overview on data reduction at storage group level. So let's go to the storage group. Storage, then storage groups. And let's select a storage group called DSA. I am going to expand the names. The name of this one is DSA QE Arco. Okay, I just find it. 
this is the correct uh, uh, the correct storage group that we are going to have a look. And once we press selected here, having this uh, check on the right pan, we are going to find uh, multiple information of this storage group. We can see the surface level, compliance, uh, the number of snapshots, and capacity. So if I scroll down, we are going to find the reduction ratio, which is 16 to 1. This is a really good reduction ratio uh, because it's a proportion. Okay, so uh, and in the next overview, we are going to take a look on system level. Um, this is a, just a view from the storage group level. Uh, let's take a look into the into the system level. So we have to focus on the efficiency data. So let's go back to the dashboard of this system. I just click on it. And now let's click on capacity. Here it is. This is the capacity tab. And here we have all the information. Okay. So here we have the effective capacity and reduction ratio. So let me find more details on this. Yep. So this is the uh, data reduction ratio, enable and reducing. So here we can see all the all the data that is being reduced uh, with both strategies, both techniques, uh, the duplication and compression. So here we can see on this peak that we had a maximum of data uh, reduce, which was 17.9 terabytes. Uh, as you can see, this is a time graph. So we are seeing this in a one month row. And um, the counterpart of data reduction is unreducible data. So as you know, as there are some data that cannot be reduced as this has no the duplicated items. Uh, we have unreversible data. And uh, this is super interesting because uh, in this section, uh, in this part of the graph on March 19, here we can see uh, a peak where data cannot be reduced. And here we can see the same. So data is not being reduced. But uh, as long as the data comes to be uh, reducible again, uh, here we can see the peak. So I hope you can see it here on March 22, the, sorry, the, the 22nd. Uh, here we can see that uh, there is no uh, unreducible data. So this means that uh, the data can be reduced in this peak. So here we can see all the information in the storage groups. And this is the, uh, the perspective, uh, the system perspective for data reduction. So, um, Probably in several systems, and uh, data reduction is is a very good feature. Uh, if you are handling uh, BDI environments, so you know that there is a lot of uh, the duplicated data between uh, all between the, your VMs or yep, your uh, your customer desktops. But probably you may don't want this feature because, uh, as you know, as I just uh, mentioned before, um, we have uh, this data uh, data reduction engine hardware engine that's uh, consuming some hardware resources. This analysis may take some time. Uh, it may impact the performance sometimes, as long as uh, the load is too high. And for these case scenarios, uh, me, we may don't want to have this feature enabled. So I am going to show you how to disable this. So um, as this is managed at storage group, so you have to, to ensure that um, um, the, the data that you don't want to be the duplicated uh, belongs to a certain storage group. So let's go back to the dashboard again. So here I know I have the storage groups. And this is super easy. So let's go to the storage groups. And let's select this, uh, the very first one. Let's see what is the uh, reduction ratio. Scrolling down. Yep, it has the same reduction ratio, 16 to 1. Now, let's click on modify uh, as I just selected. So let's imagine that you don't want 
add this feature enabled on build server storage group because uh, the loons and the volumes managed here, uh, they probably host a database or any any other application with high IOPS with not the duplicated data. So this is just as easy as unchecking enable data reduction. Uh, check down below here. Just click it and unselect it. And we're done. Let's click on run now. Here we can see the task is in progress. And just succeeded. So just post checks after the, uh, the activity is done on the system backend. Click on OK. And let's scroll down again. So here we can see that uh, data reduction ratio is gone. So we, we no longer have uh, data reduction enabled for this storage group. Uh, thanks for watching this overview, this data reduction overview. Thank you.